Good morning. It's a very special day. Um, I'm not talking about Mother's Day. I'm talking about LP9 release day. You just, I'm just kidding. I love my mom. She's the most amazing woman in the world. She let me study music. She supported me studying music. Music. Anyway, Ellen's um, blowing, her phone's blowing up because some of her friends are pregnant. They're new mothers. Um, she's calling, you know, aunties. After, of course, calling her mom. And um, I'm a terrible son because I haven't called my mom yet. Instead, the first thing I did was um, delve into the hype that is LP9. Apparently, Google released it early, and they left their track listing in alphabetical order because they're idiots or they're money grabbers or whatever. If you're a real Radiohead fan, you'll wait for Radiohead to release it on their official website. And... Um, You'll get it from them. That way they'll get the biggest cut of, you know, your hard-earned money as well, you know. Uh, if you give your money to Google, Google will take a little slice. And, um, yeah, I just want the, the money to go to the band. The album is called A Moon-Shaped Pool. Don't know what that is. The, art, the artwork is... In keeping with uh, Burn the Witch and Daydreaming is this beautiful black and white stuff. And it's it's just, I think this may be artwork on the level of In Rainbows. So in my opinion, Stanley Donwood has outdone himself. Let's go through the track listing. The track listing is... If this is to be believed, I don't think this is correct, but, you know, Radio, uh, Radiohead's album, again, it got leaked early on, on Google Play, and they've listed Burn the Witch, Daydreaming, there are no surprises there, sick Radiohead pun, bro, Dex Dark, um, Desert Island Disc, which Tom also played in Paris at the Climate Summit, Full Stop, Oh crap! Which was uh, you know this crazy live song on on the past tour that I uh, did a bass and electric guitar cover of. By the way, you can check that out. Glass Eyes. Okay, that sounds like an awesome title for a song. Dex Dark, I think, might be a really good title too. Identikit also premiered on tour. Um, the Coachella version, I think, is the best live version of the song, Identikit. It's Radiohead messing with a little hip-hop. And The Numbers, The Numbers, um, that sounds like a spooky-ass song title. Present Tense! Present Tense! Okay, present tense, everybody knows Tom debuted it at the Latitude Festival when his hairstyle was like David Spade. And the present tense is this beautiful, beautiful song. Beautiful song. Simple and gorgeous. And um, he changed up the picking pattern since then and played a little trickier, more syncopated picking pattern um, when he played at uh, the Secret Show at Club Amok before the Adams for Peace gigs kicked off officially. Um, my student was there. She got me a poster from that and sent it to me. It was amazing. Thank you, Pat. Um, Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Sailor, Rich Man, Poor Man, Beggar Man, Thief. That's the longest title ever, is it? Or something from Hail to the Thief might be longer because of the double song titles. But that one sure to be interesting and true love waits true love waits what for 22 years does true love wait 22 years hon huh i'm sorry what she has no idea what's going on what? true love waits is a song hon that was released as a live version in 2001 okay but it's been around in, since 1995, and it's on the album in 2016. That's 21 years. 
21 years they have had this song in existence and now they have finally saw fit to put it out that's great that's like i had a child and i kept him in a cage for 21 years and then i said son or daughter now you may go outside you are now ready to face the world uh, sure to be controversial because people are have been saying for 20 years that, oh, this song wouldn't work on an album. This is meant to be played live. It's just so, you know, nice with Tom playing on the guitar, just him and a guitar. And it's, it's not a Radiohead song. It's, it's just it's just a live song that he sometimes he'll weave it into the intro before everything in its right place on recent tours he just like use a little interlude and just throws it in there right before the song um but yeah true love waits for 21 years apparently that's crazy i don't even know what to, i don't even think i can listen to that song with a clear head i'm just gonna that song's probably going to take many listens to, to like fully kind of absorb, because I've heard it a certain way for so long. And I even have a cover and a tutorial of it. Um, the cover was my buddy Nick singing on there, and we were playing together. And uh, the tutorial, I'm sure the tutorial is going to be out of date. By the time this album comes out, There's not going to, it's not going to resemble the original um, that closely, I, I highly doubt that it would. Tom and an acoustic guitar. That's so. That's so 1995. <laughs> that's so 1995 or early, early 2000s, late 90s. Um. Yeah. So excited. I don't even know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. They're just, just here or here. I, you know, um, geez, Ellen, how you doing? Busy. Hun, we were, uh, we were doing the first part of the Radiohead test, uh, earlier this morning, which was like, sh I showed her the new band photo, um, from Instagram, and the Instagram had like a little profile pic of each band member and I tried to get Ellen to identify each one of the, the guys. Well, they had it earlier. Where did it go? Huh. I thought I saw it on Instagram. Anyway, she said, what did you say? Um, what, what did they all look like? They all, oh, the photo made them all look like convicts, like they're serial killers serial specifically, killers. not just convicts, like yeah, they all look like like, like they stole a car, but that they're serial killers. They're serial killers or like child molesters or well, something. Well, she thought Phil looked looked like a child molester because he has a he has a little smirk. Yeah, just, Phil always I'm takes sorry. if you know the band, Phil always takes smiles, takes photos with smiles, like a slight smile. And he's the nicest guy ever, hun. I believe you. I, I'm sorry. I believe you. I just, it just, that's what it reminded me <laughs> And of. then when Johnny's picture came up, because it was like a, a, a gif or a gif, I don't know how you pronounce that. When Johnny's picture came up, he was like looking super intense and scary. And she was like, whoa, whoa, oh man. And then um, Colin Greenwood, you know, he really cleaned up his look and got a little shaggy, thin beard. And uh, she got him confused with Ed for a bit when I said that Ed was the GQ one. He was like the handsome male model in the band. And uh, yeah, she thought Colin was Ed for a second. And uh, no matter how many times we went through the, the pictures, she could never remember Ed. <laughs> and she was like, what does he do? And I was like, that's a great question, hon. <laughs> that's a great question. You know, in Karma Police, I told her this. I said, you know, in Karma Police, when they go, Karma Police, arrest this man. And then you hear a background vocal go, You know what he's really singing? 
Hi. Hmm. You know what the background vocalist is really singing? What? What is he saying? Ed. He's saying his own name. <laughs> that's funny. He's not really singing his own name, but that's what all the fans say that he's singing. That's funny. He's singing his own name. <laughs> there's a there's that's a song really later cool. on when we um, when we get to In Rainbows in your Radiohead album listening experience where you'll hear him singing his own name and you'll swear that it's him singing his own name. But it's probably not just his own name. It's probably just eh. Just so happens names Ed. Okay. We'll we'll call it a day now. LP9, a moonshade pool. Very excited!